What is a microcontroller? It's not an easy question, but you've asked it before. Microcontrollers are widely used because of their small size, low cost, and wide range of applications. To understand how microcontrollers have become popular, we must look at computers. Microcontrollers are small computers that can be programmed to perform specific functions. They are commonly found in sensors, timer slash calendars, communication modules, and other embedded systems. Microcontrollers are also used to create applications in programming languages and development environments. Computers were initially only used to perform calculations, and they were inconvenient to use because their size could exceed the dimensions of an apartment. ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, the first electronic programmable computer, is one example. It took up 140 M2 of space. However, the capabilities of this machine more than compensated for the enormous size of the ENIAC. For example, ENIAC was able to perform complex calculations of the projectile trajectory in 30 seconds, whereas a human would take 20 hours. Furthermore, because of its high calculation efficiency, it could replace the work of 2,400 people. It's not surprising that attempts to miniaturize such machines have been made. The breakthrough melted when Intel introduced the first integrated Intel 4000 and 4 microprocessor in the 1970s. It was no larger than a fuse box, but for such a microprocessor to function, it requires external memory and peripheral devices, such as buttons and lamps, to inform us about the program's results. The integration of processors, memory, and some peripheral systems resulted in microcontrollers, which have become widely and easily available, even to amateurs, due to their low cost and small size. So, how do microcontrollers function? Almost every microcontroller is based on von Neumann's basic computer architecture, also known as Princeton architecture. It divides the system into four basic components, a control unit, an arithmetic logical unit, memory, and input and output circuits. Each modern microcontroller has at least two types of memory, non-volatile memory, which stores program instructions, and volatile memory, which stores data for the duration of the microcontroller's operation. The arithmetic logic unit is in charge of the basic data operations the microcontroller can perform. For example, it could be as simple as adding two numbers or determining whether a specific microcontroller input is receiving voltage. A control unit is a group of circuits responsible for reading instructions from memory and allocating them to the appropriate microcontroller components based on the content of the instruction. Finally, there are peripheral systems, which are elements that communicate with the outside world. The model of microcontrollers used in peripheral systems varies. Among the most common are Serial ports, used to repel and send data bits analog to circus converter, ADC converter, the system in charge of conversions. Analog to digital signals communication modules, for example, serial communication UART, I2C, or SPI. With so many functions packed into such a small device, it's no surprise that in the 1970s, Japanese manufacturers began producing microcontrollers for automobiles, where they were used in wiper, lock, and fuel injection controllers. Microcontrollers are now used in almost every industry. They can be found in lighting controllers, electrical thermometers, multimeters, remote controls, calculators, and so on. Unfortunately, microcontrollers are not designed to perform the same tasks as well-known PCs. For example, most microcontrollers are not intended to manage complex operating systems or display graphics, instead, their primary function is to control specific processes by responding to and influencing environmental changes. As a result, microcontrollers are frequently regarded as intermediary devices between the real and virtual worlds. You can start your adventure with microcontrollers using the Arduino platform and see how many interesting projects you can create. As can be seen, the popularity of microcontrollers is well-founded. Although they do not have all of the functionality of modern computers, they can control many processes efficiently while remaining small in size and energy consumption. Microcontrollers are versatile tools that can be used for a wide range of applications. They are simple to use and can be programmed to perform various tasks. 
As a result, microcontrollers can be valuable to your toolbox, whether you are a hobbyist or a professional. Leave a like if you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.